Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saint Tarot. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, pardon the black sheet over the window behind me. Um, I went to start recording and it's like, oh my gosh, that's bright. That's going to blind somebody. So I just threw a sheet over it for the time being until the sun goes down a little bit. All right, Aries, we're throwing them down for you for January round two, 2022. If it resonates with you, cool. If not, check your moon rising Venus sign readings or... If you so choose, you can just walk away from the reading altogether. If it doesn't vibe with you and it doesn't make sense, that's okay. We'll try again next time. These are general and they're not going to fit everyone every time. But keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play it from the perspective of a cross watcher. And I know in the past, the round two readings haven't really been the cross watchers read. I'm going to do a just about you reading later on in the month. So, this is just to catch anything I may not have noticed in the first reading, or any additional energies, anything that didn't come through in the last reading, just to try to get something that'll make sense for everyone for the month of January. Okay. If you're new here, think we might vibe and stuff, think you might want to come out and hang out some more, that'd be cool. You can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for coming back by. Always good to see familiar faces in the comments. Speaking of comments, I, I have opened them back up, so as long as people aren't being jerks, more than welcome to leave a comment. I do engage with them, so that's always a good time there. Anybody can hit the like button at any time if they so choose. It is all very much appreciated. It all helps the channel, it all helps it grow, and it all helps the videos to be circulated to those who may need the messages, so it's all good stuff. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards are or somebody else's. And just to remind you one more time, if it is not your reading, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Okay? Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Aries to their highest possible spiritual good, put them in their highest possible spiritual path. Okay, Aries. Oh. Oof. What are you planning? Hmm? Oh, snap. Whoa. It wands reversed the bottom of the deck. I don't think there's communication going on right now. Just throwing that out there. You might be making some pretty big plans, though. Oh, shoot. Hermit reverse bottom of the deck. I dare say they ain't talking. Woo. All right. Um, Hierophant. Make sure I got all the cards. I don't want to snafu like I have with the Virgo reading. Pick up five cards from another deck. I shouldn't say it was a snafu. There might be a message in it for somebody. We're going to do a reading on that for Virgo later. If you got Virgo anyway in your chart, you know any Virgos. Send them that way. Alrighty. Whew! Okay. Talk to me. Talk to me. What you got planned, Aries? What's the Seven of Swords all about? Huh? One more on justice. There's been an imbalance. You cut somebody out, they cut somebody out, specifically you. 
feel like you want to ride back in, try to get in out of the cold. How you feel about them is the Four of Pentacles. That's closed off. There is a locked door. One on the Four of Pentacles. Whoa! They with somebody else? Um, one more. Throw the hierophant at me. Three of wands. Ooh. Waiting, waiting. Ships coming in. Strength reversed. Nothing's moving. Nothing's moving. Dang. Somebody wants to commit. They're waiting. They're waiting. Waiting. Waiting to let go. Waiting for someone to drop their walls. Waiting for someone to drop their guard. Nothing's moving. Unwillingness to move. might be in a committed relationship possibly the juggling of two people why the knight of pentacles for what you think of them <laughs> judgment reversed <laughs> distance distance from you, long distance away, bearing connection, putting distance between you. One more. Could be an earth sign. The moon. <laughs> oh. Something they're not telling you. Could just be a Pisces, but... Possibly they're being distant and you don't know why. Before I come down here, what is this Ten of Pentacles reversed about for the person you're dealing with, Aries? Oh. Breakdown of a family situation, bad attitude. Heartbroken. Fool at the bottom of the deck, they're heartbroken. Okay. Why the Ace of Swords reverse for what they feel for you, how they feel for you? Oh shit. Ace of Wands. Um whoa, 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 whoa. Queen of Wands reverse magician. Oh my gosh. Catastrophe. Jaded. One on the magician.
Magical tricks up your sleeve. One of the Nine of Pentacles. Crossroads, indecisive. Can't let go. Always trying to manifest. Needy, codependent, jaded. Prince of Swords, stalker. Wow. Eight of Cups, but what they think of you. Your wands reversed. Emperor reversed. Five of Cups reversed. Four of Oh my gosh. That's the bottom of the deck. They've moved on. You doggone right, they be in distance. They didn't talk to you. They moved on. They're not sad about it either. They're heartbroken about something else. I don't think they're sad about you. Why the four cups reversed? Two of swords at the bottom of the deck, a decision made with clarity. All the information required. Blindfolds off. Guarded. Wow. I don't think they want anything to do with you. Just throwing that out there. Hmm. I think they just assumed this be over. Why the Hierophant for Ares' intended actions? Why the Hierophant for what they intend to do? Five of Swords reversed. Six of Cups reversed. That's not how you present a pentacle. Why the Six of Cups reversed? Nine of Wands, one more go. The Emotional Puppet Strings card, really? This screams Emotional Puppet Strings. Give me another chance! With your chest puffed out. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Why the Eight of Pentacles for the outcome for Aries? What the hell? Nine of Swords. Hanged Man. That's a lot of time and energy invested in sleepless nights and being hung up on something that don't want you, Aries. Lovers, two of swords. But it seems like your mind's made up. Why the star reversed? For their intended actions, why the star reversed? Four of wands, seven of wands reversed. Five of Wands reversed. Seven of Cups. I'm hearing avoid engagement. Page of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles. Reversed. 
don't want your pentacle, not taking your pentacle, I don't have anything to apologize for, I'm exploring other options, I don't want to deal with you, I don't want conflict with you. Why the four of wands? I have not healed from this. Why the four of wands? Page of wands. I'm moving forth on my own path. I walked away from that dock long ago. Ten of Swords reversed. I have not recovered from what you did. Prince of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They don't want your cup. Why death? Why death? I'm running out of cards here real quick. Why death? One on death. Full reverse. They're allowing the cycle to end. They do not trust you. They are not jumping. Six of swords, seven of swords, eight of cups. They've moved on. If you come back, you're going to come back to somebody with their back turned. Prince of cups. Talking, defeated, it's not equal, they've lost patience, they have thrown in the towel, they are ignoring your cup. Conflict, it is not equal, they are ignoring your cup, they do not have the clarity to make this decision. Do I need to keep going? Conflict. Standing up and doing what's right for them. Starting anew elsewhere. Justice reversed. It's not even. Putting distance between you. They're making a decision based on emotion. They're isolating themselves from you. Because they don't want conflict. You don't like being ignored. You're running out of patience. Heavy burden to bear, but they're withdrawing it. They're disconnecting. They're letting go. I need a moonology. Whoo, my head hurts, Aries. I don't know who this is for, but my head hurts. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Okay. Give me a wisdom. Give me a wisdom. Here and now, number The flame is lit, a wonderful new start beckons, and you're on the right track. Drawing this card is a superbly positive sign if there is something you want to happen in your life. Take this card as a big yes from the universe. It's not feeling like a yes, but okay. This is the time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have, you may still have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first sign in the zodiac, but... You're on your way. Determination, self-assertion, and bravery are called for. But the hot fire of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you're asking about. The caution. Don't go too fast and forget what... Don't go too fast and forget your manners. Treat people well as you charge towards your goals. You'll create much better karma for yourself. Here and now, number 32. Being fully present in the moment, living one day at a time. 
It's easy to yearn for a love affair or friendship you may not have right now. One that is more romantic, more fun, more reliable, more passionate. The good old days are gone, and a new day has dawned. Let your heart trust that you have everything you need right now, whether you have the relationship you desire or not. Tomorrow is beyond your reach. Yesterday cannot return. The now is all that is available to you. Stay present and aware that in this moment, as you cherish and approve of your beautiful self, you are a magnet for love. Spirit is madly in love with you right now. Did you know that? Turn to spirit to feel the joy and love in the here and now. Okay, Aries. This has been your January 2022 round to your read. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. Peace, love, and light. And I will catch you guys next time around.